हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर फॉर क्लास 11 साइंस सब्जेक्ट केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर नंबर 14 बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर फार्मूला देयर आर डिफरेंट वेज फर्स्ट वेज फॉर टेस्ट फार्मूला सेकंड कंडेंस फार्मूला एंड थर्ड वन इज फॉर बॉन्ड लाइन फार्मूला व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज जिगजैग फार्मूला नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल इन थ्री डायमेंशंस they are called as what three d structures because you know that all the organic molecules have three dimensional shape three dimensional shape means what they have length breadth and height okay let us start representation of organic molecules in three dimension representation of organic molecules in three dimensions that is 3d 3d structures we are going to study now there are four methods to represent organic molecules in three dimensions first is wedge formula second one fischer projection formula or cross formula third one is newman formula or it is also called as newman projection formula and fourth one is sawhorse formula or andiron formula or perspective formula so let us start wedge formula there are some uh, some symbols we are going to use this symbol is called as solid wedge solid wedge this is dash wedge this is normal line now if you are asked to represent methane molecule you know that the formula of methane is what ch4 so i am writing ch h This solid wedge, we will get H. Now see, these are normal lines. Normal lines are used to represent bonds present on the plane of paper plane of paper see these two bonds this one and this one they are the bonds present on the plane of paper now see this bond is shown by dash rays are used to represent bonds going below the paper going below the paper then see this is solid wedge it is used to represent bond bond projecting above the paper
to rejecting above the paper. Now see, I have one model. Now see, this is carbon atom, and these are the bonds which are connected to four hydrogen atoms. See, these are the normal lines. See, these are planes, and these are also planes. So this represents these two bonds. They are present on the plane of paper. Now see this bond. This is shown like what solid weight. So this bond, this bond projecting above the plane of paper. And see, this bond is what shown like a dash wedges. So it is used to indicate bonds going below the paper. See this bond. Going bond going below the paper. I hope you understood the wedge formula. First method that is wedge formula. Now come to the second method, Fischer projection formula, which is also called as cross formula. Now, we, this is vertical rod. This vertical rod considered as a normal carbon chain. See, this first carbon, second carbon, third carbon. Now, it is what vertical line represents what carbon chain. Remember that. This can be drawn by a single vertical line. Single vertical line. This is what carbon chain. Now draw one horizontal line. So here this cross represents what carbon atom. Now similarly, draw one more horizontal line. This also represents what? Second carbon atom. Second carbon atom. Now, if we put here H, 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 H. Now it is called as structure of what? Ethene. The molecular formula of ethene is what? C two H six. So this is the structure of ethene molecule by using Fischer projection formula or cross formula. Now you remember this is what vertical rise line. Which represent which represent normal carbon chain chain and this cross represent carbon atoms now i have to draw this i have one model see this this is the vertical line this is the vertical line that represents carbon atoms. See, this cross represents one carbon atom. This cross represents another carbon atom. And these are what? See, these are hydrogens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the structure of ethene. ethene. See here, this vertical line is kept behind the horizontal line. So, this horizontal line represents bond projecting up from the carbon atom and this vertical line represent bond projecting below the carbon atom so you remember that this see this is what carbon atom now what is the role of vertical line and horizontal line we have to see see this is the horizontal line represent bond projecting up from the carbon atom atom and this horizontal line represent bond projecting below the 
कार्बन एच बिलो द कार्बन एटम आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस स्ट्रक्चर सी दिस कार्बन कार्बन हाइड्रोजन 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 दिस इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ व्हाट इथेन मॉलिक्यूल नाउ टर्न टू द थर्ड मेथड दैट इज न्यूमैन प्रोजेक्शन फार्मूला फॉर न्यूमैन प्रोजेक्शन फार्मूला आई हैव टू लॉक दिस नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड this part i have to lock this now come to third type that is third method in order to draw the main equation formula for ethyl first we can show point that point represent third carbon and see draw circle around it that circle represent rear carbon atom rear carbon atom and this center of the circle represent front carbon atom now the remaining points of both the carbon atom they are shown like a spokes of pins in order to draw the bond of front carbon atom are shown to radiate from the center of the circle 1 2 and 3 but the three bonds of rear carbon atom they are shown to radiate from the circumference of the circle so this is the structure of what ethane the car these are front wheel and these are rear wheel we cannot visible rear wheels of the car we can visible only front wheels and therefore in this representation you can visualize only this carbon atom you cannot visualize this carbon atom that is rear carbon atom we cannot visible and the unique piece of this representation is what we cannot see carbon carbon single bond now come to the fourth formula that is sohor's formula or entire endiron formula or perspective formula for that we have to draw we have to draw a slanting line here these are the terminals this terminals here the carbon atom present at the lower end is called as front carbon atom and this carbon atom is what rear carbon atom rear carbon atom this is one hydrogen this is another hydrogen and this one so it is it must it must be ch3 now here see this hydrogen these are the two legs of the hose these are the two legs of the hose and these are the hinge legs of the hose so it is also called as what saw hose formula now I hope you understood Saw's formula, which is also called as endiron formula. It is also called as perspective formula. This is the what structure of what ethane molecule. Ethane molecule. It is shown by C two H six. And see, this is the structure of what methane molecule. Methane. It is also called as 
I hope you understood all these four methods, wage formula. In wage formula, we remember solid wage, attached wage, and normal life. Try to remember the importance of of all these symbols. Now, in pressure pressure formula, you remember always horizontal lines represent bond projecting up from the carbon. and this vertical line represent a bond projecting below the carbon and see here in numeric pressure formula this center represent front carbon atom and this circle represent rear carbon atom remember that and try to draw the structures also in sawhorse it looks like what animal so it is also called as what sawhorse formula i hope you understood all these four methods to represent three dimensional structures thank you very much enjoy study with our lecture in the next lectures we will study classification of